Okay, hello, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to show you how to make a, a basic Minecraft server. Um, in this video I am going to show you how to make the server itself, how to join it, how your friends can join it, and then some basic things to customize your server. Um, so before we start, if you think this is helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, maybe comment if you want to see me do a tutorial on something else. And yeah, let's start. So first of all, it, um, you want to make like a fol folder for your server. So I am going to make one on my desktop and name it 1.16 server. Because we're going to make a 1.16 server. This works for every version, but 1.16 is the latest. So yeah. Then you want to go to your Minecraft launcher and then to installations. And um, you want to find the version, version that you want. So here's my 1.16.4. Uh, just normal the latest release if you click on it you can see here you can uh, find the server and this is, works for every normal version as you can see 1.14.4 also you can download the server here here I have a forge installation and you will not be able to find the server so this will only work for the full releases like 1.16 again we're going to 1.16.4 click on server and it will open a new tab in your Chrome or Firefox or whatever. And we'll see this and in Chrome it will be down there somewhere. Um, I'm going to save the file, go to my downloads and you will be able to see the server.jar file here. And what you want to do with this is drag the file into the folder you just made. And uh, you can open the folder and you can double click on the server.jar. And it will do some stuff, I think it will make three things. Um, yeah, there we go. You don't want to touch any of this apart from the eula.txt. Want to double click on it. And if you agree to the rules, you want to change this to true. And if this is false, you cannot uh, open your server. So you basically have to agree. You can read these, um, this is the link. So yeah. So if you made the eula true, you can uh, double click on server.char again. And this will open your server. There we go. And it, it it will make a lot more files. And and now it's making the world. And when it says done, this is basically your server. And you and everyone in your house can join it already. So what you want to do is go to your Minecraft and make a direct connection connection if you want. But I'm going to add the server. Give it a cool name like my epic Minecraft server. So yeah, and the IP address is basically local host. That's basically the IP of the server if it's on your computer. And I think everyone in your house can join it. Um, and basically, I just made it and you can join the server. Uh, so if you double click on it, um, this is basically the server. And if, uh, if you go to the server, it will say that uh, I joined. And yeah, I'm basically on the server right now. Now, if your friends want to join, you need to do something called port forwarding. And, and I will show you how to do it, but it's really difficult to explain because it's different for everyone else. So yeah, it depends on your internet provider. So for most people, uh, what you need to do is go to the CMD again, uh, type IP config, hit enter. Um, Get your IPv4, uh, which is, this is mine, and I'm going to type it in. And basically, if you hit enter, you will enter a site for most people. For me, it doesn't work. I have to go to somewhere else. And then you want to go to like advanced settings and then port forwarding or something. You can look up a tutorial like um, uh, your internet provider and then uh, port forward and it will give you a tutorial if you get there this is what it should look like and first you want to give your local IP address which is again the IPv4 here um, and it already knows mine but I just have to give the last three which is 205 then you want to give the star port and the end port for both external and internal don't need to know what this is but basically the port for a Minecraft server is always 25565 and if you look into your server folder in um, server.properties, here you can change a lot of stuff. I'm going to go into that later. But if you look for server port and it says 25565, you can change it, but there's no reason why you would. So yeah, when you've done that, uh, do it for, do it everywhere like that. Then the protocol you want to set on both. Then the status you want to set on 
active and then you want to save i'm not going to do that because i already have one but save it or how you, however you do it i'm sorry if you don't really understand because it's different for everyone else there is definitely a tutorial for you on youtube somewhere so yeah so if you port forward it you can go to um, google and search what's my ip and now you want to go here what's my ip address.com and it will basically show your uh, IPv6 and IPv4. You need your IPv4, it's probably blurred. Your public IP address literally tells people where you live. So if you want to play with friends, they need this IP address. So basically watch out um, with who you share this IP with because when someone gets this IP, they know where you live and you don't want everyone to know where you live. So only share this with friends or people that you know really well. And um, yeah, so you want to copy this. So, and you can, um, again, to your Epic Minecraft server, your friends lit, um, basically need to give this IP, then a colon, and then 25565. And then when you hit done, you can refresh. Um, and you will see, I will I can still join the server. And now, um, pretend I'm one of your friends and I can join the server. So yeah, if your, fr your friends can join with your public IP, then a colon, 25565. You can join with just local host or your IPv4 of the computer, which uh, is this. And yeah, now I'm going to show you how you can customize your server a little bit. So this um, folder is a world folder. You can put any world you want in here and then just name the folder world. Um, it doesn't need to be this one. This just gets created when uh, you make the server for the first time. In the world, you, do, you have a data packs folder here. You can put all your data packs. Those uh, will all work perfectly fine. You can also go to your server to properties and you can change some stuff in here. So for example, the game, the default game mode is survival. You can change it to creative. The description of the server. So if we go to Minecraft, it says a Minecraft server. If it changes to hi you will need to restart the server but then this will change to high and i'm not going to do that because i'm too lazy you can change the build height here you cannot set it higher than 265 but you can set it to two which is going to be really annoying but you can do that if you want and basically a lot more if i type um, op and then my name it'll basically make me a server operator by, by the way in here you can do all commands without the slash of course in minecraft set you want to type slash and then your command here it's just um, the command itself so you can also do summon a creeper and it will summon a creeper if you join it there is a creeper um, we just opt ourselves uh, here in here we did op digital smile and you can in the ops json you will see um, my name and all the other stuff and you can change if, if i can bypass this player limit you can set it to three if you want to the level there is one two three and four i will basically explain this so if i uh, up my alt really quick so i open my alt and if we reopen this file really quick you will see now we have my alt in here and basically I want to be the owner so I have four and if um, and my alt I don't want it to be the owner but just like a moderator I, I can set it to three or two or one and basically um, here on this side you will see the levels explained so level ones can just bypass a spawn protection um, but does but they can't use any other commands the level two can use all these commands like teleport set block summon and they can set their game mode stuff. Level 3s are like the moderators, they can ban, they can kick, they can op. And level 4s are just the owners, they can also stop the server, basically. You cannot add any mods, um, like I don't mean moderators now, <laughs> I just mean the Minecraft mods to customize. In the server you have to get a forge server. If you want me to do a tutorial on that, make sure to leave a comment. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stop the server. Um, like that. And so yeah, that will be it for this video. I hope this worked for you. Make sure to um, join my discord and ask me there if you're if there's something wrong or leave a comment if you want. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, do all those things. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.